Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing video. So, today we're taking a look at Saber, uh, Triumphant Saber from The Good Smile Company. Uh, also, I figured we'd try out a different angle for this one because this is a bit uh, of a big box and as you've seen, I'm sure, with the, uh, the one fourth scales, we've been doing it at this angle, so I figured let's uh, clear up the desk and uh, try it at this angle. It will be a little awkward because I can't actually see the camera while doing this. So I will sort of move myself when I need to focus up on certain things. But uh, let's see how this goes. Let's see if it works out well. So yeah, this is a Triumphant Saver by Good Small Company. Uh, sculpted by... Who's that? Uh, can we focus? That person over there and... Uh, okay, this is hard to read. Uh, cooperated by that person. What does cooperated mean? That's really weird. Um, but pretty much with Fate, there are tons of scale figures, tons of game prize figures as well. But uh, I always try and get whatever's on sale, except this one. This one is one of the ones I do actually like, and I really wanted to get it, but I just couldn't find it at a decent price. And uh, then it showed up on Ami Ami, so I was like, heck yeah, I'll take that one. So uh, here we are side of the box we got the the pose she's in back of the box here shows off everything in a bit more detail so we've got saber here and her back her excalibur with the uh the invisible wind effect going on uh then here without it on the top of the box don't have anything too much it's very shiny though there's a lot of cool effects going on and then the bottom is also very shiny hey look you can sort of see me hey um and uh saber the uh the name and good small logo but let's crack into this this is pre-owned of course because they they do take care of their stuff in japan thankfully let's crack you open i want to say this is i think it was a a grade so it shouldn't have been opened but uh, we will we will inspect that as we go. All right, we'll move the box somewhere else for now and get Saber out of there. So let's see. Put you down like that. Do we have tape? Okay, so there was tape on this thing, but it's now been opened on one side, but not the other. Interesting. So I, I guess someone must have checked it out, or at least tried to be stealthy about the fact that they've opened it already. Uh, one more over here. Alright, any others? Oh, there goes that. Where are we latching on to here? Oh, oh there's a... Oh god, the scallops come out too. Uh, there's actually a, a wire thing going on just back here, so let's uh, undo that real quick. There we go. It's strange that they only put it on uh, on one side. Usually people put it on two when uh, making these types of boxes. I might throw this thing away. I feel like I don't need it that much. Whoever pulls the wire from the plastic shall become king of the fate universe. I might need to straighten it out. Ever so slightly. Ugh. Almost there. There we go. The wire's out. Alright. That should be it now, surely. Are there any other hidden surprises? Gonna pop out. Hold on. Oh my gosh, there is. There's another wire on her foot. Okay, that's where the second one is. I was thinking more so they would put it um, on the opposite side. But I guess top and bottom works as well. Okay. Wiring number two. Let's take 
Take you out. This one's a bit easier than the other one. There we go. Get that off to the side. Let's pull Saber out of this. Don't need to keep the plastic. I never do. Let's get rid of that. Let's pull that out. I will keep the bubble wrap though. That is handy with how often I move houses. And here we have Saber in all her glory. Check her out. Dang. She's looking cool as heck. What's um the little splotches on her her uh, front here? I don't know, is that uh, the paint fading or is that dust maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's just a back part. I'll check it out later. But uh, here she is, all her glory. Looking very, very nice, very detailed as well. Uh, let's put that away for now. Grab this out. This is peculiarly placed. Okay, so this is actually, um, Oh, let's just rub the mark I made there. This is a metal rod, which is, uh, makes sense because uh, she is going to be floating in the air just a little bit there. We'll put that to the side. We've got Excalibur, of course, with the writing on it, as we expect. And then uh, a cracked stone base here, which looks really cool. It's got the, the Stay Night logo on it as well. Man, I, I really like this as a base. There's not a lot of bases that uh, have kind of details like this. It's got destroyed marks from where they've been fighting as well as um, this is sort of etched in. So I don't know if you can hear it as my nail runs across this. It is ridged actually for each one of these stones, which is really cool. And uh, bottom is nothing special. All right, and then we have an entirely separate sword uh, for the invisible air. Again, does have the writing on. I don't know how well it'll show up in the video, but it is uh, actually there. Very nice. This is what uh, the one fourth scale should actually look like. Actually, I really, I really quite like this one. I'll definitely use this one over the other one. So uh, we'll get rid of the other one. Sorry, regular Excalibur I'm going back in. All right, let's see, how do we do this now? So. I'm gonna assume we put this on first, but uh, let's see where we're putting it on to. So she's got a hole just there. Let's see. So you go like that, and then just into it like that. Yeah, that feels right. Oh man, that looks really, really cool. Uh, especially if you don't get the uh, the holding in shot. Let's move this out of the way. So yeah, if you don't get the uh, the base bitten shot, it can look very cool. Um, actually, I've realized I forgot to turn on the secondary lights. Let me go run off and do that real quick. Hold on, just a second. All right, that should have hopefully improved the lighting somewhat. Let's get back into to Saber here. All right, so that's like this. Um, oh, and that comes off. There's a, what seemingly is like a pull point in the middle as well, hold on. Um, I'm not sure why that's there, but uh, the bottom does pop off. So I suppose that's how we, we get it into the hands. Oh, yep, yep, that makes sense. Okay, well, I guess you go like this. Oh wait, how do you how do you hold your sword saber? Oh, I consult the box pictures real quick. Oh wait, I didn't even see there were instructions in this thing. Just a minute. Okay, what do you guys say? Uh, 
Get out of there. There we go. Okay, so the instructions. So, step one, put it into the leg. Step two, put it into the base. Put the figure all together. Um, oh, of course. <laughs> what am I doing? The sword would go this way. I am a complete fool. Alright, so the sword <laughs> comes in, obviously, this way. Um, how do we work around with this? Is this attached on? Can I take it off? The, uh, the wind effect is what I'm referring to. I want to say yes, but maybe no. Hold on. Yeah, we can. We definitely can. It's just a little, little awkward. How does the wind look? And, uh, the wind definitely looks like that. Hmm. Okay, should go in just like that. There we go. Okay, and then we put the cap back on. Just here. Keep you all in place. And uh, we straighten that out ever so slightly. And there we go. That's a triumphant saber. I guess she, um, yeah, the base isn't quite perfectly straight. It is at like a, a this way angle, a diagonal angle, rather than like straight like that. It would be ever so slightly like this, which is uh, kind of cool, actually. I like it. The dynamic pose. Holy crap, this looks really good all, all put together. Alright, let's see. Have I done anything else that I need to do? Uh, oh wait. Can you... Rotate the hand? You can rotate the hands. Can you do it on both or is it just the one? Let's uh, pull Excalibur out once more time. One more time. go Whoop. put that there so this hand rotates it does does this hand rotate it does not okay that's interesting so let's see what do these say so you put it in through the first one and then you rotate the hand accordingly i guess i suppose we did have it first in when we put it in now, but can't hurt to try a different angle. Okay. You're in like that. And then the back bit. Come on. Nice and easy. There we go. Goes in like that. What does rotating this actually achieve? I guess it could be higher or lower? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like this does nothing, <laughs> but uh, that's alright. It still looks cool either way. Uh, I think they did do a Saber Lily figure on this one as well, if I'm not mistaken. Which also looks nice, but... Uh, just for the sake of close-ups and whatnot, let's uh, switch views real quick. And I will will manually do this. Alright, so... Here we have Saber. In all her glory. We have the base. Looking nice and cool here. So here's the, uh, the ink splotches, if you can see what I mean. I don't know if that's wear or tear on the figure, or it's just... Something is slightly messed up, but that's all right. I'll uh, I'll check it out later. And then she does, yeah, come at an angle, kind of. So on the box, it's it's kind of like this. She's coming at you like that, which leaves uh, this at a slight slight angle. Uh, the more there we go, that's more like it. But it is very cool. And then we've got the inscriptions on Excalibur over here as well. Very nice, if you can see it. 
Uh, and yeah, I'm I'm not entirely sure what this uh, this arms rotation really does for the the figure in its hull. I will say it's a little awkward to uh, to put it on um, just because of her hair, but that's fine. That's not too big of a deal. We do have uh, her back, which looks like normal saber back. She's got her, her bow and her hair, and then uh, down here we have the the thing holding her in midair, just this metal pin. Which does a really good job, all things considered. So yeah, it's it's a loosely fitted thing. So essentially it just slides into the back of her leg. And it goes fairly deep. So I'd say it's about like up to her ankle. And then she's just kind of falling down. But since this is holding it down there. She just she stays uh, stays afloat. Which is really cool. And that's, uh, that's our saber. I do wish um, her arm here was a little less in the way. That would be a bit nicer in in my opinion. Because she does have a nice face and she does have that shout going on. So uh, seeing her face would be a little bit better in my opinion. But uh, there we go. That's saber for you. So as for score wise, I gotta say um, just I'm gonna take off a point for the... Uh, the weird angles and the arm thing, but other than that, I really like her. I'm gonna give her a 9. I would highly recommend you get her before she skyrockets in price, because I think this is gonna be one of those that just jumps up ridiculously over time. So if you can find it cheap, definitely go and buy her. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, just before you guys leave though. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a weird week, we've had two fake Grand Order videos, and uh, now we're doing a scale figure, and then tomorrow, of course, it is PlayStation 5 day, so we'll be doing the PlayStation 5. That video, I will warn you though, may be up a little late, depending on how my day goes, because I do have to work. Um, and obviously, I'm going to go in uh, as early as I can in the morning to go and pick it up, and then uh, I will do a, do a recording on it and hopefully get some playtime in as well just for me, but I'll, I'll do the unboxing first. Um, hopefully I can edit that all in before I have to go to work, but if I do not have time to do that, it will probably get uploaded a little later that evening or the very next day. We'll have to see. And uh, if it gets uploaded the next day, we'll skip Friday's video. If it doesn't, we will do Ozymandias. So look forward to that, and Android, of course. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe for more Android content. I will see you all in the next one. All right, bye.